In this video, you are going to learn how you can build an entire presentation within seconds. You heard me right, in seconds. So let's get started. Therefore, I'm using this tool called Gamma.app. It's a new medium for presenting ideas powered by AI. And you can actually talk to your slides in order to optimize your slides. So it's really crazy. You can check out the website. I'm not affiliated with them yet. I will, however, do it in the future, I'm, for, I'm sure, because I love this tool. So once you are logged in and you can start for free, it's you don't have to pay for it, at least for a few presentations to check it out. And then obviously, if you want to go and become a super power user, then you will have to pay a little bit for it. So let's create a presentation that's generated with AI, clicking on this generate button. Here I can select how many slides I want to have inside of this presentation. By default, I think it's eight for the free version. So I'm gonna keep it at that. And then I can describe what the presentation should be about. And I'm gonna say how to use AI in SMBs. Okay, so this should be a presentation. As you can see, you can also create documents and web pages using this tool. I'm going to focus on the presentation part, however. I'm going to click on Generate Outline, and then it goes ahead and well, creates this outline within seconds. So I can now drag around the outline. I can change what should be inside of each given slide. I can delete slides, add new slides, and so forth. And then once I'm happy with this outline where it says introduction to AI for SMBs, benefits of AI for small businesses, common AI use cases for SMBs, and so forth. Now in the settings, I can select whether I want the elements to be brief. So the short bullet points, best for live presentations, then medium, which is good for sharing or presenting. And then the detailed paragraphs is best for longer documents where you can share it with a given team or whatever. So I'm going to use medium and I'm going to let it search for images for me. And here I'm going to only use the ones that are free to use commercially. Let's go ahead and click continue. Here I can select the theme that I want to use. I'm going to use this one, the blueberry variant this time, and I click on generate. And then it starts generating the slides for me, which then only takes a few seconds. So here you see it's generating the text in real time for me. I can really see how it's typing it out, how it's generating the images or finding images that are suiting to the given slides. And here you are. It's like absolutely mind blowing. The first time I saw this, I was in awe because I've been searching for something like this forever. And now I'm using it in my workshops to present amazing tools. And this is one of the amazing tools that I present. So if you want to see a bunch more of those tools, make sure to contact me. You can find the contact details in the description below. And then we can work out a workshop for your team specifically so that they will be AI enabled. All right, coming back to this presentation. All right, so let's say I'm not happy with this image right here and I want it to be replaced. So I can just say create an image about the introduction to AI for SMBs. And then it goes ahead and generates a new image for me that I can then drag and drop in there. And there you are, I just created an image. I can drag and drop it in there. Obviously it might not be the perfect image, but it is better than what it was before. So now you can obviously go ahead and ask for more images if you don't like that one. So another thing that you might have noticed is that the slides, and let me close the editing here, the slides don't have a 16 by nine ratio. You can change that in the settings. You can go to page setup and then going from fluid to 16 by nine, and then you will get the default card size for each of the slides. So you see everything is centered nicely everything is structured nicely, you can obviously now go ahead and replace whatever elements you want. So let's say in here, I want a image for elevate vendor options, I can just go ahead and edit with AI, generate an image about evaluating vendor options. And now I can go ahead and drag and drop this image wherever I see fit. For example, in here, where that doesn't look great on the side, I can do that. And you see the structure of the slide has changed. So it's very easy to do the editing with this tool, very powerful tool, as you can see, within no time you can create a presentation, you can add another card by clicking on this little button here, and then you can say which format or which template you want to use and say what the topic of the slide should be about. You can also add new elements. So let's say it's not three best practices, but it's four. I could say add another best practice and I can either manually write it out or I can also in order for it to generate it for me. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little presentation of Gamma app. Check it out. It's an amazing tool. I love it. As I said, I'm not affiliated with them yet, but I highly recommend using it. And also, if you need help with AI in your team and you want to implement AI into the processes of your team so that they get more productive, that they are more happy about their work because the tedious work gets automated and the boring tasks get minimized through the help of AI, then contact me. You can find the contact details below. Please hit the like button if you made it this far into the video. It really helps me out and you help spreading the love and knowledge about AI. So thanks a lot for watching. Hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video.